Hey there, super nook here. Welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival, and this is my former slash defender robot. Uh, it serves in the form, uh, which is uh, like it should be like in this form. So this machine won't get confused. So he is a defender. Uh, just ignore the modded parts that I added it for efficiency and to show that. But you can replace that if you want. Other than that, it is uh, all vanilla uh, and it can be made in early stage as well because these are normal electric engines which you can always make. And spud guns, uh, you need to add as the time pass on but it can be done easily anyway and it's vanilla so some of the stuffs uh, I, I mean the defending stuff is it might be uh, quite expensive but other than that it is cost efficient and the other thing is the sensor this is the laser from fan mod but you can always have the normal sensor because uh, the range of the normal sensor exceeds up to here so it won't be a problem if you are having the normal sensors anyway and let me explain you completely so what it does is like if you see it with the connection tool it, it going to be messy so I'm I try to tell you exactly how it works so you can make your own easily so uh, this is a situation based one you need at a open ground plus a flat ground uh, so I choose this farming area uh, right by the shack and uh, you can always have this uh, anywhere which is a flat ground you can also have it in the mechanic station if you have flat ground you don't need this much space it can work even in a smaller ground also so he, it can defend itself and everything is pretty simple it waters all time so to make sure the two term crops uh, i mean broccoli and pineapples uh, are not need to be come and reoperated so it will do everything automatically and if you, see, oh. if you touch the laser then it shoots you you don't need to have a high walls or anything like that it's just a level 3 metal and some kind of big wall a 4 wide wall should be good and covering this uh, entire plot takes up to like uh, 22 uh, I mean it takes up to yeah, 20,000 metals. Oh, not 20,000, right? Ah, yes. It takes about 10 stacks of the materials uh, completely to make this. And so, I mean, I'm not in, in telling that uh, the metal 3 pot alone, the entire process of making this entire body and entire system. I use some concrete so that it will be heavy in the back. Uh, uh, it, it is not that much. I use some little much, but you can make your own. So let's get into the connection part. So the water cannon is just connected as normal, except for the doom, which is the. Uh, which is for the teleportation of water into this you can always have this manually collected if you don't have fan mode installed but having con having instead of concrete you can have multiple of these pa these tanks so it it will do all the things and by the way this plot has about 150 crops so it will drop a heavy raid on you so this is equipped with three spud guns and it can one shot a greenie so that's what the main goal is and 
yeah probably all these hay bots they will also be get one shotted most of the time sometimes uh, some of the shots might miss and the second shot could be killing so the entire raid can be stopped uh, once it circles and you don't need more than this one chest of ammunition ammo container i think so you need to paint the, all these blocks uh, they, these can be any blocks i preferred uh, to use the tile blocks because i need to count the blocks better because tiles are always a singular block other than having some of these weird textures you can always have your different things so let's get into the sensor it, it requires two electric engine the first electric engine is for controlling the inward side wait a minute oh okay the first engine is for connecting this inward i mean the turning inward side so the next part is uh, the next one uh, this particular thing which is uh, connected to an XNOR gate which is uh, telling the engine on to off and when these both sensors are on then this engine will stop I'm yes so if both of these sensors are tracking this white are this are these tiles then it will rotate this engine as well as that engine if one is not on then the only the other engine will be rotating this engine will stop rotating which which brings these uh, weird rotating motion and these wheels are held to a controller of 30 degree Ah, not 30 degree 15 degree uh, which is directly converted connected to an AND gate when the sensor touches the ground it will emit a signal and the sensor will not act will not I mean the sensor initially the sensor is inverted the signals so when it is not sensing it will on the controller so it will be uh, that uh, turning effect you see in the wheels and it is definitely effective than the tanker tank steering because you can see this plot is curved and when I use tank steering it goes like that drops bunch of water turns and that's a big problem but for now it's working and this is the harvester part uh, just simple yeah simple just a pump collecting things you can have two uh, two of those if you uh, really want that much i won't say it will leave some of the crops but it will do all the circular things so it, it won't be a problem anyway because it will rapidly goes for uh, yes it, it will rotate this entire area for about four to five turns so it will be good and i think let me start a raid so that you will have a better understand how it works but before let me plant all the crops and by the time I plant my crops, let's you can go and see the time lapse I made. Uh, actually, the time lapse of making this entire thing.
all right guys um, i finished modeling the lower part of the body so let me show you and i will explain you the principles so let me bump up a speed by a point so he will do everything perfectly so the i have two of the sensors uh, which is basically the same uh, level 5 sensor with four and color mode is on uh, i think color mode is necessary because seems like they are tracking this also as an object uh, so i go ahead and did the color mode so it's white and both are the same but the second one is not color mode so you can have level one sensor if you want next uh, two logic gates uh, one is nand and the other is no and it seems to be pretty good at the turning and it is better than tank steering and this is the connections so first uh, i have level 5 level 5 controller which is for the speed of turning and it has a uh, 30 degree turn in all of the wheels and it is particularly uh, this this the uh, side which place you turn and the engines as you know they are powering my wheels in a same direction so what you are doing is the both sensors will be connected to an xnor gate and the xnor gate connect to the engine which is inwards i mean the turning side the side where the sensor is picking up and the sensor will be directly connected to the sen the engine which is uh, outward side of the turning and that's it i think i don't need this controller but i uh at a but i tried a different method and i need that particular port to be connected so that's why i had that you don't need that bearing but other than that it won't work on this ground but when you have this this place it sh should work and you can say i can i had the kerning pieces because it seems like when i have normal pieces they were just climbing up it but they all also find it way into the field so that's not a problem of for me but i just kind of want to look it good so that's it uh, the basement is completed so the next thing to figure out is is going to be the hard part because it will take time to time and there might be raids So the first thing I want is water cannons. So as a proof that it works, let me start a raid of level 9 which the red guys won't appear but the tape bots will appear and I will get rid of those tape bots immediately. So see how it goes. so the corners they will be a little tricky but other than that it should work great that let's see what's happening so it seems like these walls they hold pretty well and some greenies yeah they they, they should make good okay. 
so i tried the non non flickering laser light also but it's not working on hebots because they are taking way more than 3 shots uh so i mean sometimes it's just 3 shot but sometimes they missed a shot so it will be a a, a rough one when that happened so these words yeah they should be taken care of super easy and super quick so once you have your saw blades all around your base then you don't need to worry about these guys hitting it anyways so if you have a lot of saw to spare then just put it on the corners that should help you a lot wow so defense points say these toad birds they does not even a matter they should be dead yeah and see it's it's not clearly using more than a 50 or just a, a yeah, the similar amounts. And if you are making a form super big, then you can have lot of other stuffs to be installed as well. So that's it. So just for the questions you might ask, when you have it on the lift outside, it will be rotating in your spot. So, hmm, see that? That's that. That's all. It will happen. Alright. See you guys next episode. Bye.